What's up guys? Back at you again with the short chest workout. Your red eye commentator here. Just got in from sunny Las Vegas on uh, the red eye. So we'll see how I do here. Um, I'm training with my uncle Joe Tong and his training partner, partner my new friend uh, Alex Huxtable. He's a, a beast. So you see this guy here. The theme throughout this workout is controlled movements. You'll see here um, we don't um, subjugate form to weight. Uh, so here Alex is just doing a warm up set. This is a high incline smith. And you'll see he's controlling on the negative, you know, really focusing on the upper chest. Even during the warm ups, you know, we practice as we play. Um, here's me, my warm up. I get a little bit more explosive with my positives, but again, I'm controlled on the way down. Making sure that you know I'm squeezing the chest at the top, um, and I just personally feel um, that when I'm explosive on the concentric like that, I get uh, a little bit more uh, overall force production, and uh, I get more motor units activated. So I like to do it like that. Again, you know, everyone's a little bit different. Um, some people like to slow it down. You know, the main thing is find what works for you. you know, there's nothing that's going to be magic as far as tempo. It needs to be controlled, um, but you know, it's it's going to be more about what you feel personally versus you know, explosive or one second concentric. But again, always controlled. And this is the work set. So we banded it. Uh, this band was really heavy because you'll see my work set. I only go to 195. If you guys know in the past. Um, I mean, I've worked on flat bench, you know, just regular flat bench, uh, 335 for 7. So I got uh, 195, I think this is here, 195 for 8, I believe. So it was, uh, <laughs> the bands were tight, let's just say that. So again, just targeting upper chest, one thing that my uncle lacks uh, is upper chest and knee as well. I mean, that that's a pretty ubiquitous weak point for a lot of guys. Um, so again, just targeting the upper chest to start off with the strongest, you know, with the, with the compound movement, uh, trying to move maximum weight, but again, not subjugating it to form, or uh, yeah, weight to form. Here we're going into pec deck, and you'll see we use neutral grip, and I found that this, again, will target a little bit more of the upper chest. Um, you'll see that my uncle here has his elbows kind of... Um, they're not locked, they're a little bit bent, and he's had shoulders, shoulder issues in the past. So play it by ear. You'll see when I go here in a second that I keep my elbows pretty much locked, and I feel that a lot more um, in my chest. I can't do it near as much weight. I fatigue a lot quicker. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually have them straight like that, and then once I start fatiguing, I'll unlock them a little bit so I can eat out a little, a little bit more. It's going to throw my shoulders into the movement a little bit, um, but again, my chest is already fatigued, so we're just getting a maximal uh, amount of fatigue from me. So, I believe this is my work set here. Again, you'll see, you know, my form typically is slow uh, control eccentrics, and I do explosive positive, but I don't do it in a way that's sloppy whatsoever. Um, you know, there's tension is always on the muscle. Um, so, again, the theme of, of the workout here. Just some partials, I don't try to force it once fatigue sets in. Uh, that's one that's one big thing that people do on pec deck. They try to lean into it to get their shoulders involved. It needs to be all chest. Tension needs to be on the chest. You know, and that's also risky injury. So I like partials at the end of uh, pec deck once you're fatigued. Here, this is just a, a hoist chest press. Uh, we're using a neutral grip here again. And we really feel this uh, in the inner chest, uh, you know, up and down the inner chest. Uh, you can actually kind of angle, angle yourself back a little bit. I believe, well, I'm not sure my uncle this one, but he does it. Um, if you angle yourself back a little bit and scoop your butt up on the seat, you can feel it a little bit more in lower chest, but we actually go into a lower chest oriented movement after this anyway. So this is more just overall thickness for the chest and that inner chest, uh, really get the big squeeze. You know, if you've ever done uh, hex presses, you, you'll know what that squeeze feels like on the chest. Um, so I don't show all our work sets here. Uh, you see, it's pretty pretty u ubiquitous as far as my tempo. That's just how I work. Um, but I don't show all the work sets here whatsoever. You know, keep this short and sweet. Uh, I just we do 
I think we did like three or four work sets per movement. Pretty much, I believe three for me. Um, so these are just mainly our top sets. We'll do a couple of these per movement. Go real chess. Go real low. I have to say, my chest used to be a really big point for me. I'm pretty dang proud of how, how far I've gotten to come up. Um, yeah, I, I think that was just focusing, you know, um, keeping a beautiful face. Beautiful face. That's a word face. Um, keeping focus on the movement and, and squeezing the chest and being progressive in that. You know, weight needs to go up. Um, you know, reps need to go up. They need to go up in that form within that protocol, within that context. Um, so here's Joe, here's, we just do dips, I just show you one set. Um, I go down to where I feel a good stretch, hold for just a slight second, and I explode up, and I, I squeeze my chest to the top. So we just finished with these, we do a couple sets, that's quick chest workout, I actually went home and ate, went to the airport, headed back home, and now I'm sitting here commentating on this. So anyways guys, I hope this was a good one for you, hopefully you can get something from it. Cheat day video coming soon.